Welcome to Goof Group Co-op One Player. Kyle, John. <laughs> I forgot how that sounded. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Um, okay, so like we said in the last episode, this is going to be the big go on episode. All we had to do to make sure that this episode went a little more smoothly is make sure that we planted this. this. Because in the future, that's going to turn into just a plant that we could ride to make a certain section a little bit faster. Everything else, we gotta do as an adult. So, we're going back to the temple top and becoming an adult. We'll see you guys in just a sec. Just a sec. Literally. Dude, like, literally, just a sec. Like, dude, see? Told you. A second. Magical. Not even. It, almost like editing magic. Oh. My. God. Alright, so. Wait. Do we go there now? Oh. Uh, no. No. We gotta go to Kakariko. Just straight up. Yeah, I'm in like a flow right now, that's why. Okay, right. so we're going to Kakariko right now to talk to the cuckoo lady. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. And the she cuckoo is lady. going cuckoo. to give us an egg. So literally, we started this all earlier when um, we were in Goron City, where we just kept bombing the walls until we met a somewhat big Goron who gave us a not so big or on sword that broke in like five swings. That's literally the only thing we've done at this point. We did that way earlier. And now we're at the part where we're gonna do the rest of the sequence. Yes, we are going to get the fully fledged big Goron sword that is twice as strong as the Master Sword. At my request. At his request, cause I like it. Technically we don't need it, but it would come in handy. It actually makes the whole final battle just two, if not three times faster. Stupid easy. <laughs> I mean, it's even already, though it's already stupid easy. It's yeah, it's not that difficult, but just having the big arm sword makes it quicker. Yes. Like I, I can't even say easier, just quicker, because that's all little, that's all Zelda games are is like wait, hit, wait, hit. If hitting just does more damage, it's it's just faster, not easier. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go and talk to this chick, get that egg. I hope she just gives it to you right away. I hope so. Pocket yep, cuckoo. There yep. we go. Okay, and he is in which house now? Well, first we gotta let it hatch. Yes. So we can just play the sun song twice and bada boom, bada bang. Okay, let's play the sun song. Uh, I think it's YRA, YRA. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm good. You had practice time. <laughs> uh, practice time? This was just catch-up time. Please. I had I to literally do... never play that song, though. I had to go from the ice cavern all the way to past the Shadow Temple. And I used the, sh the Sun Song because I'm a bitch and I wanted to just take out all the... Uh, they're not the Redeads, but they're the mummy version. <laughs> I just hated how they actually can freeze you even though you're an adult. So, yeah. So I literally played it just so they wouldn't stop my flow. Because it was so annoying. But anyway, yeah. He's he's in that house dead ahead. Literally that house? I was yeah. that, I was actually thinking of another house. Now he's across from the shooting gallery and all that. So. Gotcha. He should be right in here. Should be on a bed just chilling. Look at this I hear, guy. I hear snoring. I hear him. There he is. Yep. Mario. <laughs> Why are you? He just jumping. Stop it. What did I tell you about jumping in other men's beds? What tarnation? He, he said, "What a tarnation." <laughs> hey, that's a blast from the past. Okay, so he's going back. Uh, did he leave? Leave or wait? Talk to him again. He's. I just want to double check. Uh, stop it. I'm going back to the branch then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we just got we got to go talk to the cuckoo lady again. Yeah, and she gives us Kohiro. 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 Why why we say it like that? <laughs> Japanese. I, I just look like at the name, Kohiro. Hyundai Toshiro Samurai. Dude, my firstborn child is gonna be named Axel. My second is gonna be Kohiro. Kohiro. Dude, Kohiro Budro. Tell me that don't sound amazing. But Budro's. French. So, 
hero. He's blue. He's so? blue. It's I forgot he was blue. Weird. Okay. Um, he's a blue cuckoo. Dan, blue Dan, 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 we actually don't need him. No. Um. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Wait, do we? Yeah, I think we need to present him. Do we? To the uh, to the disgusting <laughs> lad. We're going to Lost Woods, then. We are going to the Lost Woods. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be somewhat of a dragged out episode. Not gonna lie. Not to mention. There are a couple tiny little things we want to do because we realized while we were on our way to start all this for the episode, there are just heart pieces everywhere that we could probably pick up. So we might just pick up heart pieces for the sake of picking up heart pieces. I'm sure some people already know what's in store, but for those that don't know the sequence, this should be a treat. Because it's actually pretty complicated, and they will be learning a few things. This is the only walkthrough episode of this series. The only one. Big. And it's worth it. Why All are right. you trying to jump the stream? You know you can't swim. You literally stop. Well, she could definitely make that jump. She could. She jumped that bridge. She jumped the, exactly what I was going to bring up. Speaking of bridge, we're actually going to be crossing the bridge again. Why? I don't know. <laughs> just aim like aimlessly at the sky. Yes. I like how it's just right here. It's so cool. This actually reminds me like way earlier in the LP, a part that I actually ended up cutting out was um you've like you, you had an idea of where you wanted to go, but then your mind just like shut off mid-conversation and you ran all the way to the desert. Stop walking in place! I can't get off! Okay. There we go. I, I, I didn't know she was doing that. <laughs> Did you? Dude, I could not, like, get off. It's not in my hand, so I didn't notice that you couldn't get off. I was getting so annoyed. I, I could tell. It's like, John, shut up. There's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have a problem here. Made it. Uh, okay. Lost Woods. Part of me really wants you to put on that red tunic again. Just... <laughs> <sighs> Let's wear the red tunic. Yay! Looks so bad. All red does not look bad. It looks so bad. I don't like the tunic though. I just don't like the red. Yeah. I don't know. I'm doing it for you. Yay, you do care. Yes, be happy. I right think, here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's right. It's like immediate left. He's right here. Mm -hmm. So I think he yeah, we do present the tunic to him, I remember now. The tunic. I mean Oh You're my, my god. That. I said I made it. Why? I'm the only nice guy. Aww. Aww. Okay, I know where to go. Kokoriko again. Let's go. Hurry up. He go, called go. us a nice guy. I forgot that he did go, go, that. Go, 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 go! Now I'm gonna feel really bad when whatever happens, happens. Right. And spoiler Let, Let's not, let's not. Let's just we're, wait until we're not, we come back. We're not gonna say anything, but... You're gonna see it when we come back. It's fucked up. We, there's a lot of back and forth, as you can tell. We already talked to the cuckoo lady, went back to the cuckoo lady. What I didn't even realize until... And we have to do this in a time limit. Oh, so yeah, true. It's actually not that bad. We'll make it. Yeah, the, the first one's not bad. It's the last one that's kind of... Uh, Look, she's waiting, so that, that helps, too. Yeah, she's always right where you left her if you go into a new area. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I was going to say was there's a lot of back and forth, whatever, like we visited the cuckoo lady and all. I didn't realize until we looked up a guide just to make sure, hey, do we know exactly how long is it going to take, where we got to go, this, that, bada boom, bada bing. I didn't realize until we were reading the guide that that's actually her brother. Which is weird. Which means she's also the carpenter's daughter, which is like, where did those genes come from? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Pale, disgusting looking sun looks nothing like big. Ah! <laughs> right? <laughs> he looks and, like a vampire. He has a, he, the sharp ears because, you know, they're all elven and stuff. Highland. Mm -hmm. He just looks like a vampire. It's kind of weird. Um, His eyes are even like super white. The potion shot. Yeah. Um, We need a cuckoo. Do we? Yes, we do. Wait, no, no, you don't. Not as an adult. I'm pretty sure you can just run and uh, grab the edge. Oh, that's true. We're big bodied. We are big bodied, folks. I hope that's right. 
You're right. Oh wait, hover boots. Or we could use the hover. Oh, we have them equipped. I'm like so used to having to do it the hard way. Yeah, we have items. Is this it? This yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, this is it. I was just unsure whether it was this one or the one next to it, but yeah, okay. We what is this mysterious smell? Oh my god, what is it? It's a shroom. That fool. <laughs> Dude, she is like. I am the only thing you can see in the dark. She's weird looking. I'm a hag. Why is her nose that long? Odd focus. It's the stuff that hard pieces are made out of. Dun, 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 dun. Get over it. It's a grinded up hard piece. Get out of my house. Okay. So now we're going all the way back to Lost Woods to give it back to him. No one asked you to disturb my slumber. You're creeping me out. Why are you my creeping you out? This is just the sound that I make when I speak. I am the old hag in the potion shop. She's actually not that significant. You are like on her like way too much right now. Like I would rather you like, you know, mimic like Link. Ah! Okay, I'll switch that. Yeah, ha, huh? yeah. He doesn't even sound like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you just sound gay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank ya. Yeah. God. Hold on, hold on. Stop again. Hey 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 no. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not just, even close. I, I hope you understand that I started off with a somewhat neutral impression, and then I just kept getting higher and higher. I hope that's what yeah, you understood. That's what I was doing. Jesus. Well, let's hear you, Mr. Voice Actor Extraordinaire. Hey, it sounds a voice. I said you're terrible. <laughs> I'm probably terrible too, but this, you're still terrible. Shay! <laughs> <laughs> Link is just weird. Hey, ha, yeah. God. See, I wouldn't be doing that voice. Really? Like, I, and that's also the problem because I wouldn't be cartoony enough, I guess. Yeah, his voice is more like, um, what's that word? Uh, scraggly? Not scraggly. Um, I don't even know the word for it. Oh, okay. Let's read raspy, this. Hold raspy, on. raspy. There we go. Let's see. The guy isn't here anymore, except for the Kokiri. People who came in the forest end up lost. They all become Stalfos. That's why he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. Well, that's okay. That dude, like, that is they, they, actually pretty dark. They, they don't, and they have all this cheery music. That's depressing. Yeah, that's pretty depressing. Like, the kid died. For you, for those of you that know what a Stalfos is, that's fucked up. <laughs> Like he, he turned into a Stalfos. He died. Like oh, you're he wasn't a Kokiri, so he ended up a Stalfos. D don't say it so casually. Right. That's messed up. They don't really care about outsiders, though. So I mean, they and besides, they have a children's mindset too. So it's like I don't know. Oh, the people who come here end up lost unless you're a Kokiri or you know you for some reason. I guess here's the thing. Even though you're not a Kokiri, you're actually Highland. Th that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, and weird. you for some reason. Yeah, it's so weird. Okay, so actually we gotta go this way. Cause we're the hero of time. We don't have time to be getting lost, right? And apparently we're the only one of intelligence. Cause you know. All you have to do is listen to the music, and if all of a sudden it gets quiet, well, this is the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And seriously, okay, think about this. If he was in the Lost Woods right there, he had to have gone through Kokiri Forest and just taken a left. How hard would it be to just go out and take a right? Or... I'm guessing because game logic-wise, it's not that straightforward. It's actually a dense forest. It just looks, you know... And no oh, actually, no, actually, scratch that. Regardless of which direction you go, you'll end up in the same way you went in. So, how can he get lost if he just appears if it, at the if beginning? It, exactly. Game logic. It's not like he just had bad luck. Like, Dude, incredibly he, bad luck. He was just disgusting for seven years because everyone and his father was disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Uh, well, now you're dead, son. Yeah. Sorry. 
that's depressing. Like, if you go talk to his father, like, he'll, like... Yeah, I want to see how this goes down. Yeah, like, what if, like, that's crazy. Like, we've been skipping a lot of text, but now I actually want to see. Yeah. That saw, it's my... I thought I left that my old late. <laughs> what? Okay. Thought he left that with his old lady. Um... So he never knows that his son is now a Stalfos. Save him. Oh, that sucks. I guess he doesn't care about his son. He never did. That's sucks. Like, I'm sure it's like one of those, oh, my son is dead. Oh, I have so many regrets. I'm sure it's one of those things, but he never knows. That's, that's messed up. Cause he never sees his son. Cause remember he was pale. He never came out during the day. He only came out at night. Yeah. And just sat under the tree with a Skulltula being his only friend and we killed the Skulltula. So we killed his best friend. We killed his only friend. I'm making that part up, but we killed his best friend. Jonathan, you should slap yourself because of that. Good. Like that is really messed up that we did that. And did then you we really just slap yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're focusing on a screen, but yes. I just noticed that you really slapped yourself. <laughs> Everyone at home is like, wait, was that actually a slap? And then you just confirmed it for them. They're like, oh, thanks, Kyle. <laughs> Folks, he really just slapped the shit out of himself. <laughs> I mean, it was like... That was a slap. That was a legit slap, okay? <laughs> Like, good job. <laughs> oh, I mean, not that way. it's not like I really hurt myself, but I did make the smack. It hurt me by the sound of it. Jesus. Oh. Uh, hey. Ow. That was a clap. <laughs> you what? I was trying to play it up. Well, actually, no, well, okay. Here's a clap. Here's a slapping of the hand. Way different. Sounds hurtful. It does. Yeah. Like, when you clap, you just collide both hands. A slap on the other hand, you are just straight up... I, I, you already understand. Yeah. What are we doing now? I'm pretty sure this is a shortcut. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, up there. Oh, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. Ba, ba, yeah, ba. that's what we... um. I'm glad you were paying attention because I kind of lost track of where we were in the whole process right now. Yep. But yeah, at this point, that's why we planted the seed because there's going to be another one of those time sessions and that's going to speed everything up so much. Like, I'm pretty sure if you don't have it, you just barely make it. But if you do have it, it's ridiculously easy. Nope, can't do those. Oh, so you can climb the ones in the sh uh, spirit temple, but you can't climb this. Yeah. It looks exactly the same. Never mind, the oh, other uh, ones are break. Did this you is see wood. that tech type? Yes, I did. He go bye-bye. Yeah, he failed. He, he literally can't get back up here now. He, he's dead. I don't know how he got up here in the first place, but he ain't getting back up. I think he was on one of the platforms. Oh, like, not, oh that would have sucked. Good job. Hi, big boy. He really is big, dude. Dude, like, you don't even show up on the screen. No. My brother. Okay. Let's just show you this real quick. See, this is the part that we were confused about because we can never get it, uh, like, we couldn't get this part started. We forgot that it was completely scripted and that you needed to go through this whole process in order for him to have the problem with his eyes. Yeah. Okay, so is there a faster way to get to Zora's Domain from here? To Zora's Domain? Uh, well, yeah, you can play the, uh... The Serenade of Water, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, we could just dive. And then dive back into the city. That's true. Okay, which one is it? This right one. there. Oh! L. <laughs> I pressed B. L R Y Y X. Yeah. That, uh, was, the, that was the shortest song out of all of them. Well, I think a number of the teleport songs are only five. Except for the. Wait. It's like the bellow of fire or something. Bellow of fire is like way longer. But yeah, that that's like it, that's an eight one. Whatever the case, I think the rest might be fine. No, I'm tripping. Dun, 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 dun. Oh look, 
It's a Zora, I think. Is it? Huh? Wait, what is that? What? Wait. What? Wait, that's something you can grapple. Wait, is that the? Wait, is that a fish? Dude, that is not in the 64 version. That's never been there before. What is that? That's the freaking entrance to the water temple. No kidding. That that's the part you have to shoot. Why that, was, that wasn't in the original game though. Why why is that sitting there? Is there any significance? Well, I don't feel like figuring it out, but that's weird. That I'm have you ever seen that before? No, but I recognize the front because that's what you had to hit with the hook shot so oh, that you can get into the water temple. We can't look. Remember, it's frozen. Wait, that part's still frozen? Yeah, look. I thought all that unfroze. No, it's still frozen. Well, that sucks. You just gotta go around. We can just go around. We'll see you guys at uh, King Zora Domain. That's where we're heading anyway. Yeah. I like all this intense music for literally no enemies anywhere. There was one tick tight ball. Somewhere. Oh, he's gone now. How's it going, King Ooey? Ooey. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we have to bring the frog. Before they spoil. Of yep. course. Okay. There, this, there's three timed parts, and this is the second one. Oh yeah, eyeball frog. Eyeball frog. He looks like Frogger. Not the eye. <laughs> wow, he sure does. He does look like Frogger. Before anyone says something like "duh, frog, Frogger," <laughs> he but literally that looks like Frogger. No, the he frog. he literally looks like the Frogger frog. Like no. he looks like the cover art for Frogger. Yeah. So if anybody said "duh," well, smart ass. Actually, while you're making this run, I'm gonna look up Frogger for myself, and I'll possibly put this in in post if I remember. Yeah. He, he Frogger. Looks like Frogger. Okay, we're gonna just jump in this water right here because we're lazy and we're just gonna take a shot. Okay. Well, the actual Frogger had black eyes, but close enough, right? It's very close. <laughs> And besides, I think the newer Frogger versions actually look more similar. That's the original Frogger, I believe. Dude, I hope I have a Frogger game somewhere. I like how since oh, we're Oh, my cousin Bernie has Frogger! I want to play Frogger on the channel. We can't swim because we're too big. So, impossible. No, we can't swim. We're too big. Well, now we can. It's deeper. Yeah, it's deeper. I'm about to say. And that makes it go way faster. Yeah. God, I wish you could teleport. I wish to, but that would be cheating. Hey, it, it really shouldn't be, considering, like, you could really do this at any time, but I don't know. I don't think it would be cheating. I, I think it would be making something easier because you waited for it later in the game. But whatever the case, I mean, it's just how it has to be done, so it's how yeah. it has to be done. Already used all their yeah. Technically, I think the last one's supposed to be the hardest, but because we've got that plant, it's gonna make it so much faster to get back to the goal line. Yeah. Because we have this time section, then when we get back to the uh the old guy, he's gonna give us another one. I think that one's gonna be four minutes, and then that's it. That's the big goal line sword. That's it. We're almost done already. We only had one jump cut just cuz, but we are almost done, ladies and gents. That, really? Well, I'm a little salty right now. Kind of salty. If that, if, if something like that were to actually cause us to miss it, I'd be furious. It's not gonna cause us to miss it. I'm just saying hypothetically, if it did, I'd be a little furious. I would be too. And what is happening? Absolutely livid. Why is it doing that? Oh, it's because it's nighttime and it's putting an emphasis on top of the house. Remember, I was telling you about that. Uh, yeah, while we were in the jump cut, he was telling me about going on top of the house, which probably shouldn't worry about that right now. No, nah, we're gonna do it after this. Even though we gotta run all the way back to the big goron. Yeah. What? What? There you go. Uh, you like how he jumps out before you even pull out the frog? <laughs> Dude, actually, the way he jumped like that while you're reaching in your pockets like he was waiting for you to draw a gun. Right? 
this dude creeps me out with his lip flat. Oh god, runs as fast as you can to Death Mountain, blah 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 blah. You're young, you could do it. Or our opponent can do it. <laughs> the opponent could do it, the plant can do it, and then I, like I can walk I can gonna, walk the rest of the way. It's gonna be easier because we have the uh the the seed planted. Yeah. It's gonna be way easier now. But we still have to climb all the way up. Just remember. Die. Oh yeah, don't you need opponent to even like get over here? No, I don't think so. To hop the fence, huh? I think there's a ladder. Without teleporting? Well, I mean, you can get out without opponent, but to get in here? I actually, I, you probably do need opponent. Because the way you got to the water, like the way you got to Lake Halia was by playing Serenade of Water. Because the domain was frozen, like the entrance. Or exit, whichever way you want to look at it. Yeah. Hey, why is it that everything except the water temple I'm actually familiar with? <laughs> and the shadow the shadow temple, I guess. Even the spirit temple, I knew the final boss. Because nobody cares about the water temple. People should care about the water temple just because of how like infamously hard it is. Okay, so it took us a minute to get here. Oh, that's another thing. I was talking to Kyle off screen before we started recording. That was one of the things that they made uh, easier in the 3D version. We didn't realize they had the markings on the walls, like next to the door, like the red, green, or and the blue. Temple. So yeah. you can know what level, like if you go through that door, that door will lead you to the way to raise and lower the level to that specific point. We never knew that, and well, I mean, first of all, I never knew that to begin with. Kyle didn't recognize it because it had been ten years, and and it actually didn't think of it. It actually didn't exist in the '64 version. It did not exist in the '64 version. That's and why I didn't recognize. Even it. Even more so than the the marks on the walls. When you got to the Zelda's Lullaby section on the wall, it actually had an encryption of which level it was, just by like level one, two, or three. Mm -hmm. So it not only was it color coded, it was number coded. So they actually made the 3DS version of Ocarina of Time easier than the uh, 64 version. J just by textures and colors. Mm -hmm. Like the gameplay itself wasn't any different, but they just gave you something easier so you could tell where the hell you are at that given time. Basically. Jeez, this is nuts. How much time this saves. Right? This is a four minute trip. And... We're already here in like two and a half. And we still have to climb. And this is real time. Yes. But well, I'm, I'm just pointing it out like this is real time. It's not like Nintendo seconds. It's We're going to be wasting a little bit of time hitting these spiders with arrows because that's why I'm not risking climbing and falling. You definitely don't. You're good. Now we just got to hope the tech tight doesn't hit you. <laughs> tech tight guy. Well, you never know. He's in the platform. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I told you. I stand corrected, good sir. Get out of here. He leap of faith into oblivion. He is gone. He's dead. And we're here in three minutes flat, Damn. dude. Oh, well, 301. Dang. Uh, Almost three minutes flat. Oh, he is Chinese. Hello, eyesore. Here you go. They're so big, they make a, a drip sound. Did you hear Whoa! that? Whoa! <laughs> he struck a fighting pose for eye drops. Right? Dude, that just put Billy Mace to shame, rest in peace. And now, we see three days, right? Uh, I think it's just two, but play, play it four times. Let, let time lap. Well, it has to go a full day. Night, then day, night, yeah. then day. Yeah. So, this so you is, gotta play it four times. This is a half. I'm glad that this isn't one of those areas. Like this is a this is a time flowing area. If it wasn't, we'd have to restart from our entrance point and then make our way all the way back up. So I'm glad they didn't do that. Yeah. I like how this dude's actually just sitting here doing nothing. I memorized it. Yeah, good job. <laughs> but here's another thing with the sun song. We are literally manipulating time and making the sun just move that much faster. What must regular townspeople be thinking? Maybe it literally fast forwards time. It is the Ocarina of Time. Like I'm wondering game logic. 
do they treat it as in you're speeding up the sun but in real time only a few seconds have passed or is it the game's way of skipping that much time no it really speeds it up because when you play it you're teleported remember at like the beginning everybody's like gone so everyone else just goes huh we've only been up for 30 minutes but the sun just went down fuck it time for bed <laughs> yes i'm also pretty sure you played it way too many times yeah you probably played it like six times Wait. Oh, we gotta give him the claim check. Your sword is my finest work. We got the big Goron sword. It's beautiful. Bam. It's better looking than the Master Sword somehow. Nah. That's yes. So it, no. No. Look. At, no. Okay. Go back to the menu. Look at the sword. Well, hold down so you get rid of the guide. Just, like, just press down. Okay, now you can get a good view of all the swords. That one is way sharper and shinier. The Master Sword just looks dull. What? Are you serious, in com dude? In comparison. No, dude. It's just in a different shape. It's look. so much shinier. No, look at the Master Sword closely. I know. It has a uh, edge I know. around. This one has just a, so a bigger much middle. So shinier. Dude, the Master Sword is actually shinier. I know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I really like the big wand sword, personally. Yeah. We're going to use it. And just besides, it's stronger. Yeah. He, besides, you're more of a big wand sword guy anyway, because when's the last time you used the shield? Never. <laughs> and I actually do like the big wand sword. The though. only time you use the shield is when you're circling around an enemy that just taunts you forever. Yes. Like Dark Link and the Gerudo tribe. Those are the only times I can actually remember you using the shield. To use the shield. And then I barely even used it for them too, though. I was just swinging away. So, uh, now that we have the big Goron sword, we should probably end this episode. And s the next episode will start How on... How many heart pieces do we have, though? Uh, three, four, six, no, eight. No, no, go to, no, the heart pieces. Like, how many do we have left to get a... Oh, it's empty. Yeah, so we're just gonna yeah, uh, we're just gonna do it. Ganon's castle in the next episode. Time to beat the game. Yeah, I don't even remember the last Skultula prize being anything that we wanted in particular. No. It wasn't. No. Oh, by the way, speaking of Skultula prizes, unless I'm completely wrong on the source that I found, um No, it when we you need get fifty for the next no, one. No, I'm saying when we get to one hundred Skultulas, the ultimate prize is two hundred rupees, how I said. But instead of just being two hundred rupees, apparently it's like an infinite spawning thing. You can leave and go back in and he'll keep giving you two hundred, something like that. I might be wrong, but if his ultimate prize is only two hundred rupees, bullshit. For all 100 Skulltulas. Just throwing that out there. Ten, ten of them right off the bat is just like planting bugs inside the uh, the little sand pits where we planted yeah, the beans. Yeah, the dry dirt. Yeah, that, that's yeah. it. That's ten right there. There's one next to Ganon's castle. Like We know where a, a good chunk of them are, are, but they're not worth getting. They're really not. So for anyone who was hoping for a 100% playthrough, yeah, sorry. Now nah, we good. We Gucci. We want to finish this game in a few episodes. Yeah. And then we can get cracking on the Kingdom of Hearts. The mix of final. Shwam. Next, so, time, next time on Goof Group. Next time on Goof Group. Get it!